time for evidence 101 now today they coming down to the nitty-gritty families and friends in the court as there were fireworks in the courts the prosecutors seeks to you know make sure that witnesses are available now the prosecutor tries to justify why vibes cartel process is taking so long families and friends and they explain that it is normal normal procedures kingston jamaica acting director of public prosecution claudette thompson yes ladies and gentlemen and at this point right now claudette find herself in a in a situation where it's a no-win situation families and friends straight no win right now thompson outlined the process and the procedures that's needed to accomplish a proper proper paperwork as the acting director claudia thompson took to the floor in the courts of appeal thursday seeking to justify the breach of the reasonable time and vibes cartel and co-defenders case in proceeding by online details timeline event mark her point thompson acknowledged that there is a breach in the accused constitutional rights you hear that family the acting deputy of prosecution claudia thompson admit there have been a breach in the accused constitutional rights to a fair channel with tri trial within a reasonable time but argue that the breach is justified thompson outlined that september 2000 and 11 the 30th of september 2011 to the 3rd of april 2013 the arrest charge trial conviction and sentence of dance all star vibes cartel real name adija palmer sean campbell aka sean storm kiera jones and andre st john were conducted which she argued a reasonable time she said that between april 3rd 2024 and april 3rd of 2017 there was a filing of a notice of appeal the production of 10 volumes of transcription the placing of both notice and transcription before a single judge and the granting of leave to appeal again we are saying by any measure we are saying by any measure this is reasonable time Thompson said between April 3rd 2017 and July 2018 the prosecutor said that there was a preparation of grounds of appeal and serving of grounds of appeal Thompson's further outlined that between July 24th 2018 and April of 2020 two years later there was a consideration of extensive grounds of appeal review of the law case site an assessment completed thompson said a judge was delivered by the court of a judgment was delivered by the court of appeal on april 3rd 2020 on june 29 2020 there was an application to appeal to the judicial committee of privy council which lasted over a period of four days the ground granting of condition leave took place on september 25th 2020 the final leave was granted march 7th 2022 the matter was then with the privy council for two years justice marva mcdonald bishop interjected stating what we want from the state is a justification as to why it took 10 years there was a delay the layer can be reasonably justified based on all activities that took place during the 10-year period the presumption of the unreasonableness having done this aggregation we have rebuted that presumption thompson's clarify however mcdonald bishop warned the prosecution that their accused have already spent over a decade in custody and there will be a continuing breach should there be a retrial 
the prosecution will make additional submission on the point on Friday. The accused were initially convicted September 2011 murder of Clive Lizard. Lawyer representing the quartet made an appeal to the local courts of appeal 2020, but the conviction were upheld. The accused appeal was taken to the UK Privy Council. March 14, 2024, had their murder conviction overturned on the grounds of jury misconduct. The Privy Council has also ordered the Jamaican Courts of Appeal to decide whether or not there should be a retrial. This retrial is continuing and it's expected to end on Friday. McDonald Bishop, along with Justice Paulette Williams and David Fraser, will decide 